What's happening, beautiful people? Welcome back to Great for Panic Night Reviews. I'm so glad that you stopped by, and I hope at the end of the video, you are too. And if you are, go ahead and like, subscribe, and throw us a comment down below. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, budget knife from Off Grid Knives. It is the Off Grid Rhino, and also, uh, at the beginning of the video, we're going to be opening a package that was sent in by uh, Brother John Boy Scarborough. He sent us in a donation uh, to the upcoming 700 subscriber giveaway, which was super awesome of him, and I uh, greatly appreciate it, and I know that you guys do too. Um, and before we do that, let's go ahead and get a quick panic dump and better check out of the way. Um, today, I was carrying the uh, Firebird, Ganzo, whichever uh, your choice is to call them. Um, it's the FB759M, uh, basically their version of the Delica. And I had one of these a while back, sold it, and then kicked myself for selling it. And just had never gotten around to uh, getting another one. Well, uh, Jared White sent in a package that we unboxed uh, during the live stream on Tuesday. So if you missed that, go ahead and uh you know check it out because we had a good time man <clears throat> so it was, it was a lot of fun and uh you know definitely worth a watch um but i had forgotten what a good little knife this is man um and for the price you get them for twenty dollars or less and you just can't beat that uh and i mean it's 440c so it's not gonna hold an edge forever but i mean you can sharpen these up and five minutes to uh, shaving sharp so I mean, it's well worth it I mean, well worth it I to me I think you're getting a, a steal for the price um oh what else oh the uh here in the Rough Rider reserve um easy open razor and blue denim micarta and that's another killer knife for the price very well built um, fit finish is amazing. I think they ran $40. I'm not sure if they're still available or not. Um, I'll look, and if they are, I'll drop a link down in the description. Uh, and then I was carrying the Hitch and Timber Run 2.0, and I had the Olight uh, i5T EOS in brass, uh, Machine Air Markup in brass, and the Alox cadet in black and a new arrival <clears throat> again this is also in the we unboxed this in the live stream as well this is uh, I got two Hanks from LTD um, custom EDC gear and uh, little old-school tattoo style Hanks because I dig the heck out of these and this one um, it's got some you can, I'm sure you can customize the thread. I didn't spe uh, specify thread color, but they used a really cool metallic looking gold thread that matches really well. But I did have them put um, the purple microfiber on the back of this one because I thought it would, would go really good. And then I got this one as well, a lighter colored one with a little bit different designs on it. And I had to put the, the teal microfiber and this is um it's like it's it's more like that micro like the micro suede type stuff it's it's kind of fuzzy uh, there we go. yeah it's got some got some fuzz to it and it really it cleans the, the glasses off really well and camera lens these are great for cleaning off your camera lens um oh and as far as the beverage check we are drinking on a little bit of Appalachian Mountain Breweries Boone Creek Blonde and this is out of Boone North Carolina and it does have a paragraph and we like paragraphs and this says an ode to the creek along which we built our brewery Boone Creek Blonde is a refreshing beer for every season brewed with orange zest to complement its light hop aroma Boone Creek Blonde has a crisp mouthfeel followed by a hint of sweetness from wildflower honey 
This drinkable and delicious brew is a gold medal winner from Boone's Beer Pioneer. And uh, this is, uh, this, I guess you would probably consider this a session beer. It's 4.9% alcohol, so you can slam quite a few of these back without hitting the dirt. Um, oh, you know, I think it's only fitting since uh, Brother John Boy so generously sent in this donation for the giveaway that we send a big old hearty grateful pan of cheers out to him. So, uh, Brother John Boy, cheers my friend. Um, oh, and also I just wanted to uh, say thank you. We've um, picked up several, several new subscribers here lately. And I just want to say welcome to all of you guys and thank you very, very much for your support. Um, hopefully I can uh, give you guys some good content. Um, <clears throat> I try not to be too serious around here. We have a, a good time. Um, and also uh, moving forward from here on out, I'm going to try my best to do uh, at least Tuesday nights. Uh, I'm going to try around 9 o'clock, 9 or 10 o'clock, depending on uh, what's happening that day. Um, but at the earliest, we'll start at 9, at the latest, we'll start at 10, and go till whenever, you know. Um, you don't, don't feel obligated to stay the whole time. If you got to uh, jump off and you know, go handle business, go to bed or whatever, feel free. Um, but we'd love to have you. Uh, this past Tuesday was... Uh, our third live stream, uh, or did I say Thursday, this past Tuesday, I don't, whatever I said, I, I never know what I say, um, usually I'll catch it on when I'm editing and I said that, okay, well, you go boy, um, but no, we have a real good time man, a lot of laughs, uh, we try not to take things too seriously, I'll put out some information that I have to you, you know, on a knife and, um, give you my best opinion on it and but other than that uh, you know we just like to chill hang out uh, make each other laugh and, and have a real good time so um, Tuesday nights for sure um, depending on I'm um, you know if other channels have something scheduled for Saturday night I'll you know I don't want to step on any toes and um, so we'll hold off on Saturday night but other than that Saturday nights a, a go-to if you guys uh, want to join us so uh tuesdays for sure possibly saturdays and you're more than welcome to join us we'd love to have you um and again welcome and thank you all you guys for your support i appreciate it uh, more than you know so with all that being said let's go ahead and dive on down and get up close and personal with uh, a donation from brother john boy scarborough and the uh off grid rhino. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and tear into this package we got from Brother John Boy Scarborough. Um, he basically he messaged me and was like, hey man, what's your address? I wanna I wanna send something to contribute to uh, the upcoming giveaway. I was like, dang man, dude, that's cool as crap of you. I appreciate that. And he uh, basically said he was paring down his collection and figured the best thing to do would, you know, instead of selling it or whatever, was to donate it to uh, a channel, which is really awesome. And that's, honestly guys, that's that's one of the, the great things about this community, you know, in a, in a, in a different world, let's just say. If somebody's paring down their collection they're gonna be you know putting it up for sale for as much money as they can get for it trying to you know, profit off of it I mean not, I mean the vast majority of the people I know in this community they, they'd rather just give it away to a good cause and try and make money off of it which is I mean absolutely amazing so without further ado and without doxing anybody let's go ahead and cut into this and this is, uh oh, I think I cut your note out. Oh, okay, I just cut the edge of it, so we're good. We are golden. Let me, let me get the note out first and, and peruse it real quick, make sure. 
Let's see. Do do. Oh, all right, man. He says, uh, says, "Hey, brother, here's a Ganzo FH41 with the stone wash and acid edge by uh, BJ Hill of Hilltop Knives and Gear." Um, so, and oh, <laughs> PDC, you ass off, y'all, brother John Boy. So let's check this beauty out. He's going to make it difficult for us. What in the heck, man? No, this is actually good. I like this. The knife's going to be in good condition, and you get to test your package opening skills. And I did not come in contact with the knife at all. Oh, wow, dude. Bronze the hardware, too. Oh, ooh. Good lord, yeah, that's gorgeous. Dude, that looks really nice. Yeah, DJ does a great job, man. Thank you. It looks like he bronzed the hardware and acid washed the uh, liners and the blade. Great, greasy granny, dude. Yeah, that looks good. <clears throat> and a nice, nice edge on there, too. A laser. I, I certainly appreciate that, man, and I know everybody else does too, and especially whoever. Ooh, look at that action. That's beautiful. Whoever is, the lucky winner is, is really going to appreciate it too. Yeah, that's. Oh, that's slick. Dang. I just do the video on this knife instead of uh, what I initially planned. <laughs> oh man, centering's dead on. Ah, Lee. That lock up. Oh, the lock up is beautiful. Dude. Yeah, it was solid. No wiggle, no jiggle. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. I really, really, really appreciate that, dude. That is awesome, man. 100% appreciate that. That was really cool of you, and that is an amazing knife. And I'm uh, seriously considering maybe uh, what when the winner gets their their prize package. Uh, what what Ganzo? I don't. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Oh, the one in the video? No, no. Oh, that was no. That was just a box opening. Just did an unboxing on that knife. That wasn't. That had nothing to do with the giveaway. No, I would do that, man. That's that's awesome, dude. For real, I really appreciate it, dude. Um, already. So let's take a slight, brief intermission, and we'll be back with the review knife. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this here off-grid rhino. And I'm gonna tell you my first, uh, just initial reaction to holding this in hand and you know, flipping it open stuff it's, it's uh it really reminds me a lot of like the older like the old school zt knives uh, like the 0350 uh, that type deal you know, it's super overbuilt uh, super sturdy and super well built i mean you got some, some really thick liners here it's not light i'll tell you that it's not light but uh yeah, I mean, you, you can tell just right off the bat, it's it's well built. So, I mean, if you're into uh, tactical type, overbuilt knives, and you're on a budget, um, yeah, this is definitely definitely something you want to check out because uh, yeah, it's it's worth the money, um, hands down, worth the money, no questions asked. We got a three and a half inch blade here I'm with a nice high flat grind and I'll tell you um, I'm gonna try to do this right anything over there. Let's see if I can get a behind the edge measurement because it is beefy and it is overbuilt as this guy is it does got a uh, pretty slicey behind the edge thickness It's 
right around 19, 18, 19 thousandths behind the edge. But yeah, that's that's not bad. I mean, big old beefy blade. Um, uh, right around almost 140 thousand blade stock. So yeah, um, yeah, it's definitely ground down to a nice behind the edge thickness, and I feel like it will be very slicing, very very slicing. Uh, you got a nice deep carry pocket clip. Um, screw, screws are not um, focus. The screws are not countersunk, but the pocket clip is inset into the the handle scale. So I don't think I, I haven't had any problems getting it in and out of pocket. So I don't think you will either. Which I've been wearing. I have wore jeans today. I wore uh, khaki shorts. So and some golfing shoes. Not really. <laughs> And wearing their golfing shoes, you know. Um, you got a, it's a beefy liner lock right there. You can see the lockup is nice and on time, not too late, not too early. The action is pretty superb, absolutely stupendous. It is riding on bearings, so that is a good thing. Um, it's looking like put the scale back downstairs. I must have. Oh, that's right. What they're saying is uh, they're giving it a weight of 6.6. I'm .6. looking at 186.9 grams. There we, there we go. 186.8 grams, making a liar scale. And 6.58, yeah, on the money, 6.6 .6 ounces. Um, go away, Cletus. You made me a liar. I'm not your friend anymore. But yeah, it's not a it's not a light knife by any means. It's not a small knife though. So I mean, you kind of yeah, you're kind of looking for uh, kind of asking for a heavy knife if you're buying a large knife. Um, yeah, I have no problems getting a full uh, four and three quarters finger grip on it. I mean, you're yeah. You, if you've got large hands, uh, it's it's you're not gonna have any problems. If you got small hands, you're not gonna have any problems. You'll still uh, still be plenty comfortable for you. It, but this just comes down to a matter of if you're into large knives or not. If you're not into large knives, you're probably not gonna like it. But uh, if you are, I, I don't think you'll have any qualms with this knife, really good knife. Uh, we got D2 blade steel, uh, G10 handle scales, got coated stainless steel liners, and a G10 backspacer. You do have some weight reducing milling on the, on the liners there, if you can see that. Can't pick up the light. Uh, I would assume there is if there, if there's some on. Uh, yeah, well, no, I, I doubt. No, I don't see any on the lock side. There's a couple of milled out holes on the on the show side, but doesn't look like there are on the lock side, uh, which brings us to the fact that it is a liner lock. And like I said, lock up looks really good on it. Um. Now we're going to call this a, a drop point blade, and it looks like a very steep drop point, but it is due to the fact of this little uh, thumb ramp right there with, and I'm, I'm just going to say the jimp effective-ish. Um, it works. Yeah, yeah, it works good, and it's not painful at all. Uh, so, effective jimping without being overly aggressive. Um, on the blade, all you got is the little off-grid knives logo right there and I'm not sure what that is I've, I've often wondered I need to contact them and find out what their logo is because I'm interested but we do have some stars up there and we, on the other side all we got is just the, just the blade steel D2 so yeah uh, it is I mean I would say it's your typical G10 D2 clipper but uh, I mean it's it's you know 
and it's very overbuilt. It's built. It's built to perform. It's built to uh, put up with a lot of abuse. Um, blade hardness is a uh, 59 Rockwell, so that's good. Uh, I think D2 is designed to perform at higher Rockwell, but I mean that's just about typical, I guess. What uh, most companies, especially budget companies, are running it at. Um, <clears throat> Uh, you got a four and a half inch handle, five and a half, or three and a half inch blade, so right at nine inches overall. And like we said, through, uh, 6.6 .6 ounces. And yeah, I think this would make an excellent, uh, you know, that's what like for guys in the military, it'd make a great uh, EDC knife for them. I mean, put up to a lot of, put up with a lot of abuse. It'd be, you know, good for uh, law enforcement to tote around with them. Um, but yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm pleased. I think it's a uh, it's a very well built knife. It's coming in at seventy nine dollars, so uh, very decent price on it. Um, you know, a little higher than some companies for their D two, but I mean, I'm just telling you the the, uh, the materials and, and you know, the build on this guy. It's I, I think it's worth seventy nine dollars. Uh, you know, with I mean the fact that it's. It's very overbuilt, and you know the build quality in general. I think it's worth every bit of seventy-nine dollars. Um, I feel like this is going to be a knife that will pretty much last you a lifetime. Um, you know, some people have concerns with uh, corrosion or what have you with D two, but I mean, you've got a nice uh, coated blade here and a black wash finish, so I don't think you'll have any issues with with corrosion and I mean if you take care of it and uh, treat it like it deserves to be treated you definitely won't have any issues um the hardware is just your typical hardware uh, nothing spectacular about it but nothing wrong with it either it is kind of was inset so all the screw screw heads are flush yeah and uh as far as the the G10 goes I mean, it's got texturing on it, but it's not going to kill your fingers. I don't think it's going to tear your pockets up either, but it's not going to slip out of your hand. And then, with, especially with the, these ergos, the, these ergos just basically lock your hand right in. You're good to go. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I have no problems putting in my steel of, uh, steel, my, my steel of approval. I have no problems putting my seal of approval on it, which is, you know, quarters thumbs up um not necessarily my style of knife i'm just not into a uh, tactical thing but uh speaking as a knife consumer on the quality of it i think it's worth every bit of the price and i don't have any problems at all uh, recommending it to somebody that does uh, enjoy their tactical knives um so that's about it guys and uh, that being said, appreciate you guys stopping by. You are more than welcome to come by anytime. Until next time, get out there and EDC your ass off and do something nice for somebody. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.